I dropped my major, I started taking courses, and I took this black history course, oh my God, y'all, it was the most amazing thing that ever happened to me. I was just so captivated because it revealed all the answers to the questions I had growing up about my situation. I'm like, oh, that's why the police are here all the time, monitoring us, it seems like. That's why our neighborhood looks like that. See, I didn't realize, y'all, I grew up in a neighborhood that's redlined. Raise your hand if you ever heard of that term, redlined. Yeah, I didn't learn that until I was in college. Red line meant that in my neighborhood, when I was growing up, the hood was created specifically for us. Meaning that if black folks after slavery and through Jim Crow had enough money to actually buy decent housing, they were restricted to these red neighborhoods. And then when FDR passed the New Deal and gave loans out to white families across the country, guess who was excluded? Black families. And I'm like, that's why my neighborhood looks like that. Because then if you don't have people going there with resources and, and the bank loans, they're paying for a house with what? Cash. And most people ain't paying for houses with cash, y'all, which means that you're going to have to get something run down. And guess who ain't going to come to those neighborhoods now? Businesses. And businesses bring what? Jobs. And if people ain't got businesses so they can't get jobs, then they're going to be what? Press. And they're going to try to get money by any means, which means they're probably going to get together in a group and click of friends and say, let's, click, let's have a game. If then they see somebody with some money in their neighborhood, what are they going to probably do? Let's go rob. Because they're looking like, they told me to get a job, but I don't see one. And then they, there's other, other dudes creating these same clicks, these same games, so now they got rival games, right? Well, I can't just take their position because our position's over there. Now, they're infringing on our territory. So now we got to get guns. But I can't even buy guns in Chicago because it's illegal. But oh, wait, that train is sitting right there. And it's open. And guess what the train has on it? Guns. Why does that always seem to happen, though? There are guns in this neighborhood, but they can't even buy them legally in Chicago. Well, I'm about to get these guns anyway. See, college revealed this to me. I kept educating myself. I realized, like, yo, wow, this is really, this stuff is by design. Because we weren't doing this during slavery. We weren't going around shooting each other. We couldn't even buy guns during slavery. We couldn't legally be armed because we might be a threat. Then in the midst of all of this, y'all, I keep educating myself. I keep educating myself. Boom, the next day, 